Good morning everyone. Today in Max, let's continue with our chapter, The World of Shapes. So hope you have learned what are slanting lines, vertical lines and horizontal lines and you have done the activity that was mentioned in our last class. So today let's move on to our next topic. It's about plane shapes. So let's learn what are plane shapes. We have learned about different shapes, triangles, rectangles, square, etc. So these shapes are plane shapes because these shapes are flat. So we can say that these shapes are plane shapes. Now let's learn about the properties of plane shapes. Here you can see a figure. One of the lines that make a plane shape is called a side. So how can you draw a figure as this is shape when you draw a shape you have lines. So in this shape you can see that there are four lines and one side that one line is called the side. So one of the lines that make a plane shape is called a side. So here you can see that one, two, three, four that this shape is having four sides or we can also say for side another name is edge. So we can say that this shape is having four sides or four edges and the points where two sides meet that is called the corner. So here you can see that the two lines meet and that point when two lines meet the corner this is the corner. So in this figure you can see that there are four corners one two three four. So that is the corner where two sides meet that point is called the corner. Now let's look at the square. A square has four equal sides and four corners. Now let's draw a square. When we draw a square we should have equal sides. So how many sides are there? One, two, three, four and all the sides are equal for a square. And what about the corners? We have four corners for square. So one, two, three, four. So we can say that a square has four equal sides and four corners. Carom board. You might have seen a carom board. A carom board is an example for square. Next, let's learn about a rectangle. A rectangle also has four sides. But what is different between a square and a rectangle? For a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. For a square, we drew that all sides are equal. For a rectangle, when we draw a rectangle, opposite sides should be equal. So we can say that the side which is having more length is the length and the side which is having short length is the breadth. So there are two dimensions for plane shapes that is length and breadth. So that opposite sides of a rectangle should be equal. And here also you can see that there are four sides. One, two, three, four and also there are four corners for a rectangle. One, two, three, four. A postcard is an example for rectangle. Now let's learn about a triangle. A triangle has three sides. You can see one, two and three and in the same way it's having three corners also. So a triangle has three sides and three corners. Here in this picture you can see the roof of this house is triangle in shape. Now let's learn about the next shape that is a circle. So how can we draw a circle? This is how we draw a circle. So we can say that in a circle there is no side. It is a round figure with no sides and no corners. So a circle doesn't have any corner or any side. A bangle is an example for circle. The next shape is oval. Oval also doesn't have any side or corner. So how do we draw a oval? This is how we draw an oval. And we can see that there is no side or no corner for oval. An egg is an example for oval shape. So hope you have learned 
what are plane shapes and how many sides and corners are there for each shapes. Now let's move on to our exercises. You can open your text page number 142. We have the practice coach there. The question is write the number of sides and corners for the following plane figures. So in this exercise we have rectangle, triangle, oval, square and circle. You can learn the sides and corners of the shapes and you can do the exercises in the text itself. Now next move on to our next topic. Here it is qualitative feel of objects. See this you can see in your text. Let's read that. Jim and Jenia have items like pencil, pen, eraser, pencil box, ball, die, carrot and globe in two bags. So you can see that Jim and Jenia are two people. They have items like pencil, pen, eraser, pencil box, ball, die, carrot and globe and in, they are having it in two bags. They put their hands in the bag and feel the objects. They make a list stating whether an object is flat or round. So they have to find out whether the object that they are having is flat or round. So look here the object ball. It's written Jim has found that the object ball is round and Jenia also has found that it is round. So they have written their round. The next is die. Die is a thing that you use for playing snake and ladder etc. So the die they have written that it is flat. The object is flat and Jenia also has written it as flat. What about pencil box? Pencil box is also having a flat surface. So Jim and Jenia has written it flat. Pencil. Pencil is flat and round. And Jenia has also written it as flat and round. Now it is your turn to identify and write about the objects around you in the following manner. Now you have to find out some objects and write it in the following manner. For example, they have given under flat matchbox. So you have to find out what all things comes under flat. They have given matchbox. Flat and round. It should be flat and at the same time it should be round. For example, bottle. And here you can see in the under the round you can see that they have given bead. So find out objects and write it under flat, flat and round and round. So with this we finish today's topic. We will be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.